you raise some concerning aspects of Freemasonry that can reasonably cause Christians to refrain from involvement. Death threats for revealing secrets goes against the openness, truth and nonviolence emphasized in Christianity. Oaths should never contradict biblical principles. While Freemasonry may provide career benefits for some, Christians are cautioned against seeking position, influence or fame outside of, or potentially in conflict with, their service to God and congregation. Using membership for self-promotion risks diluting one's witness and priorities. The early church emphasized humble service over status and recognition. Secret societies with threats of harm for exposure inevitably breed suspicion among outsiders. This damages credibility and hinders Christian testimony, which depends on integrity, honesty and living in the light. Christians are primarily citizens of God's kingdom, not man's organizations. Allegiance to any group that could supplant allegiance to Christ raises valid concerns. Overall, the biblically safe approach for Christians is generally avoiding entanglements where core doctrines may be compromised, divine obedience may be divided or witness for the faith may be hindered, even if potential benefits exist. Discernment and caution seem wisest paths.